nothing women do is for men hi guys welcome to my channel if you're new here please like comment share and subscribe and if you're oldie but goodie thank you for staying tuned to your girl so i really had to touch this topic with crystal tomlinson and dennis meadows dennis meadows is the former deputy chairman of the firearm licensing authority so let's get into it. The article says Dennis Brown, the former deputy chairman of the Firearm License Authority, has provoked outrage on Twitter for disparaging comments towards former National Party Youth Organization President Crystal Tomlinson. Meadows, who has been embroiled in a corruption scandal now unfolding at the entity, was responding to a post by Tomlinson, who was critical of his response during a nationwide radio interview on Thursday. The former Jamaican Labour Party senator in the interview sought to defend his choices of granting firearm permits to ex-convicts and people with criminal traces after disclosing in a Gleaner article that he believed in second chances. Hours later, Medor fired back with a response user have since described as distasteful. Like you struggle to remain baby mother 13, but fail miserably. My effort was not to convince the likes of you. It's a futile effort to, to convince those fixed on finding a reason not to believe. His comment evoked a swift response from Tomlinson challenging that Meadows does not concern himself with her personal life. Dennis, my vagina and reproductive choices aren't your business. The FLA was your business. Being diligent, fair, and accountable in executing, in executing your duties was your business. If you had half of a passion for your work as you do my body you wouldn't be struggling to address these allegations said tomlinson meadows has denied claims made by the fla ceo shane darling on tuesday that he was a part of a group that granted gun permits to persons previously denied because they had criminal conviction or adverse traces in those matters darling said there are no new documentation provided by the applicants then he went on to say that he apologized to crystal and it says on reflection it is undeserving and unbecoming it's an affront to women's reproductive rights and choice he he tweeted in a new post he also apologized to tomlinson misogyny has never been a part of my being given the circumstances i'm not in the right state of mind i am unreservedly apologize to to you and womanhood honestly i really really am tired of men and i'm gonna say specifically black men i don't know why they think that women's end all be all is for them is for us to attract them is for us to get approval from them it's us uh, making choices because of them it's what we do for them nothing women do is for men and the sooner they realize that is the sooner they will have a better life better understanding and better communication with specifically black women let's get this straight black women don't get their hair done because of you they don't get their nails done because of you they don't dress to attract you they do it for themselves and when they choose to reproduce whether they are the 13th 15th or 16th baby mother they do it because they want to it's funny because he was raised by a baby mother so the fact that he's on social media trying to dismiss and demean another black woman that's a baby mother says a lot about him and who he is personally and a quick tip to all the persons out there that's not living in 2022 having a ring 
being a wife don't guarantee you that the person you reproduce with is going to stay with you forever. It gives no guarantee that that person you are married to is going to do right by you and that child that you gave to them. So the fact that people in 2022 still believe that if you have a ring or don't have a ring, it says something about you. It don't say a damn thing about you. We're in 2022. Look at Vaughn Jones. He's an anchor for CNN. He just had a child with his friend. No ring, no nothing. They don't even live together. They are consciously parenting. Both of them wanted a child. Both of them didn't want the attachments of getting married and creating a family and all of that. They just wanted a child. They had a child and they're consciously parenting that child, making sure that child has everything that child could ever want. So the whole misogyny and sexism that stems in politics in Jamaica is a problem. What Crystal do with her ovaries is nobody's business. What she do with her vagina is no one's business. And that not only goes for Crystal, that goes for all women. I've been on social media long enough where I've gained weight and people assume that I was pregnant. Stop assuming things about women's life and what they're going through. Mind your business especially if you're a man, mind the business that pay you. And Mr. Dennis, you need to do a better job of actually answering what was asked of you. Because quite frankly, in that nationwide interview, you sound like you were lying. You sound like you were struggling. You sound like you couldn't keep up with what was being asked of you and why you did what you did. Because you know what you did was wrong. So stick to the points at hand. Why did you do what you do and leave people's vagina and them ovaries and them personal life out of politics? And I'm so happy that Crystal actually came back and came back swift with what she had to say. Because I find that these men really really be thinking that this kind of behavior is okay this kind of behavior is warranted this kind of behavior is acceptable black women actually go through enough and the fact that they continuously have to fight their own male counterparts to be respected and to be treated like a human being is crazy to me especially in a place like politics where you're supposed to be posh prim and proper and know all the politically correct terms and be on point so for him to do this he did it because he wanted to do it he did it because he wanted to dig at her he did it because he wanted to kick her while she's down basically because Honestly, Crystal and Beaniman relationship, they just broke up a few months ago. He was trying to disrespect her in a politically correct way. And he thought he was going to get away with it, and he didn't. So now he's apologizing. Sorry. If I was Crystal, I wouldn't accept the apology because he did what he did. He thought that he wouldn't have gotten any backlash. So anyways, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Leave your comments in the comment section. Do you think Crystal took it too far with saying that it has nothing to do with her ovaries and reproductive system? Because I see a lot of people saying that. And quite frankly, it has a lot to do with her reproductive system. She had a child with someone and she was the 13th baby mother. So this is all facts. So she did not take it too far in my eyes. What are your thoughts on his comments? And what do you think of him for saying she's struggling to be the 13th baby mother while he was raised by a baby mother? 
comment what your thoughts are in the comment section and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one deuces